city. And I'm very pleased that next year we will have a cultural week of Barcelona in Tiruvannathapuram. There will be a week of activities of music, dance, poetry, literature, everything, and theatre here in this city. And I'm hoping, as you know, to take our city into a twinning relationship with Barcelona. And that I will talk about only when it's done, but it's a process that is making good progress so far. So we must open our windows to the world, and nothing does it better than this annual International Film Festival. Because it increases in the minds, through the eyes of every one of you in this hall, your consciousness of how other countries live, how they think, the passions they experience, the emotions they endure and suffer, and ultimately the creative talent that they bring to bear upon the screens of their countries, which you are privileged here in Dhirantapuram to be able to see in this festival. So let us keep opening the windows of Tiruvannathapuram to the world. Let us bring more world-class institutions and events to this city. Better institutions of higher learning, which we can strengthen, of medical services, of knowledge services, of health, of sciences, and let us strengthen the culture of this city by bringing, for example, this film festival to the kind of quality where it will one day be listed amongst the best film festivals, not only in India, but in the world. We can do it, and it needs nothing more than will and the support of all of you here to make sure that the best filmmakers, the best producers, the most interesting creative talents in the world say to themselves, how can we not go to Tiruvannathapura? That must be the message that goes out from this hall tonight. I think we are particularly honored that an eminent filmmaker of our culture, Minal Sen, is here with us. He has come to us from the state that perhaps is most like our own, the state of Bengal. And as many of you know, Sharmila Tagore is also originally from Bengal, though she has now made her home in Delhi. We have a lot in common with that state, including, I suspect, politically, but that is, this is not the occasion to talk about that. I'm not referring to politics this evening, but we have a great deal in connection with each other. And what we have in honoring Rinal Sen today is an appreciation of the extraordinary strength that his cinematic vision has brought to our lives, the insights he has provided us and opened our minds to, and the place of honor that he has won our country on the global stage through the excellence of his filmmaking. So once again, Miranda, we honor you. I'm delighted to see you, Shamil Ali. I would like to say a special word of thanks to our great cineast from Kerala, Madhu. I remember watching Madhu in my childhood before he grew that sannyasi-like beard of his. And uh, I don't know how many Malayalis here know that he made a very fine Hindi film with Khwaja Ahmad Abbas called South Hindustani, where he was the hero, ahead of a certain unknown, moody young actor called Amitabh Bachchan. But South Hindustani, starring Madhu, was sadly to be his only Hindi film. I wish he had done more. But he has brought, with his sensibility, the great uh, privilege of chairing the jury that has decided to award the Lifetime Achievement Award to Manal Sen, and we honor him too for his presence here on our stage today. Once again, thank you all for being here and for supporting this festival. Let us make this an embodiment of the finest things that this city can stand for in the world. Once again, Dhanabad Munanda, Namaskaram to everybody, Nandi, Jai. Thank you for that rousing speech, sir. Next in the line of events, we have the release of the festival book of IFFK 2009. May I call upon the Honorable Minister for Forest and Housing, Mr. Vinoy Vishwam, to release the book by presenting the first copy to Sri Vadisharmila Tagore. Mr. Binoy Vishwam and Sharmila Tagore.